So what we've got is a radiator. How we bush it up, I'm using a right angled valve, as you can see, that goes into the wall and onto the rad. Onto the rad, into the wall. Now firstly, they have a rubber on these, and the idea is you don't have to buff through them. But what happens is, is people pulling towels off rad, cuts into the rubber, and then they start leaking. So the, you just got to, I, what I do is, I put some PTFE tape on it, start it like that, always wrap it that way. Once you get it tight, just keep wrapping the thread, and you see it build up. No good telling you how many times, because you, you want to be doing it at least 15 times at least and then what I do is when it gets a little bit bigger I get it on the rubber there itself and then it just tightens it and then when I tighten it up it's not going to leak so the first thing I do start with a nice coffee beautiful these coffees then what we've got is, we've got angle valves. So how I use my angle valve, they have got a rubber on it, but still PTFE tape. Do it at least 15 times, never have an issue. In theory, the rubber should seal it, but when people are knocking it and banging it, it doesn't seal it. That's how you end up with drips. So on your rad, you look at your rad, the smallest part always runs to the top. The biggest part always runs to the bottom. Purely and simply because when you hang a towel over it, if you did it the other way around, you hang a towel over that, it's going to be eating the floor in it. So I mean, you hang a towel over that, it's going to go down there and it's going to dry, dry, dry. So after we've done that, Obviously, we check the rad. And then in there, get that. And depending on your valves, they could be all different. Don't, don't do it too tight because you don't want to be splitting the rubber what's already on there, do you know what I mean? This wants to be tight enough, yeah? Same again with the other one. Nice. So now that is on like so. And we get his other corner valve on, which goes like so. Now that then is going to go straight up to your rad. So the top of it, in your box, you will find two caps normally. So what we need to do now, is you get the caps, these you only screw in gently. Um, if you end up splitting the rubber, unscrew it, put some PTFE tape on. These I don't tend to put PTFE tape on purely and simply because they're not on a valve. When you put them on, you could do with a spanner like that. Can you see how it's edged? How thin it is? I 
how thin it is to get on. And then you just tighten it really gently, not too tight. Because if you tighten it too tight, what you're going to do? You're going to split the rubber. But obviously, it wants to be tight enough, do you know what I mean? Then all we've got is we've got these. Now, why are you always doing these? You see some people putting put uh, put these on and only putting one on in the middle. Never ever put one just in the middle. So, you want it on the on the centre, but I always put it uh, two down, then if you need all of the rad you can do it, and chances are if you're putting another radiator on at a later date it'll fit. Look around it because, see on these, they're chamfered, so depending on which way you put your chamfer it might lean that way or that way, so you want it straight. And all I do is, I put my thumb in it, and I leave a little thumb gap. And do the same with the rest of them. Do the same at the bottom, two up, instead of two down. Don't forget all this is live, these are all on my job, so we don't have the luxury of a showroom or a room where we're working. This is just this is just real life, do you know what I mean? Real life, real time. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Spark is here today, it's his turn for sandwiches. Beautiful. And that's it. Bang all them on there. Top and bottom. That's how it should look from front. We leave a little gap at either side is because you, you want to tweak it. If you put it over here too much, then brackets will be warming too much and you're always here creaking and cracking and everything. So you can get your towel in the centre there, get your towel in the centre there and it'll go on. Now we're going to lift it up and we're going to attach it to them pipes. So then now we get pipes in us with the right angle drill and right angled uh, brackets sometimes I say stuff <sighs> I don't actually mean that stuff but you can see what I'm doing you know what I mean <laughs> so I, I make sure it's flat and then what we do is all we have to do is mark it there mark it the other side And then we take that off. And now we've got us marking. So this I'm going to be doing live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the valve off. And then I am going to switch the valve off. Take it off this rad. Take, take it off this rad. The reason why I'm doing this live is because this boiler has not been drained down or serviced in 25 years. So, you definitely, don't wanna, <laughs> you definitely don't want to be touching it. Looking at the peaches. Do you know what I mean? Definitely don't want to be touching it, so all we're going to do is snatch.
on there, get that bucket in there. Make sure that's on there. That's how your valve's going. The secret to this is never panic. Never panic. Beautiful. Beautiful. On to the next. People keep telling me to get a wet bag, but uh, I've got one in garage, actually. I've got one in the garage, but there's no fun in it, is there? You know what I mean? There's no fun in a wet bag. Then you've got it in your way and you can't do all. And it's just a pest. It's a bit of a pest, like my mate. Now you could leave the valve open and let the, let the water run through it but there's no fun in that either is there? As easy as one, two, three. Now all we have to do, we're going to stand up right on top of it. The pipe, these are level anyway. Stand right on top of it and mark it. Put that on there. Oh, it only fits like a dream. I always wonder how they get me for money, you know what I mean? You always wonder how they get me for money, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you got your foot money. Me and Marcus have we, been working together all his life. I've carried him. Is there any chance you can come and fix my bedroom door? It opens in the middle of the night. Yeah, he keeps moaning because I fit a bedroom door for him, but uh keeps opening in the middle of the night. I says, I'm not uh, I don't, it's not my fault you're on it, is it? Do you know what I mean? So now we'll get a level on there, draw a line round that, draw a line round like that, draw a line round that, take the rad off, and then uh we're gonna drill them. Bish bash bosh. Go pro stop record. So then, after you've drawn around your lines, yeah, just put your bracket on. All you need to do is draw a line, yeah, so we know where it is. Do the same on the top. And then what you need to do, this is how you know your level, this is how you know your radiator's uh, bang level. And the brackets are bang level. You just draw a line because we know roughly the centre, so we can mark it off the centre. Lights out, and then all we have to do is center that gap, which is there. Oh. 
Send it that gap. So now when we put these uh, brackets on and they're on that rad, they're gonna be exactly in line. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly? Exactly, exactly. Now, now I'm gonna drill them. These are porcelain tiles. I'm gonna use my Bish Bash Bosch tile bits, which you can buy off me. This is not one of my Bish Bash Bosch tile bits. This is an imitation one, what Lee's putting. Because uh, if you don't stand behind Lee, he just does not think, do you know what I mean? Tell me the difference, what's the difference with this bit? It's completely different. So I'm gonna get one of my Bish Bash Boss tile bits first. That's one of my Bish Bash Boss tile bits. That's a used one. But, can you see the difference? I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? You would think so, wouldn't you, Donna? So, Normally, I would use a new one. But for this demonstration, because I know how good they are for you, you can buy them £15 a pack, the link's on my channel. I'm going to show you. Now, if you want them to last, always use it with water, but I'm not bothered. Because what happens is, is the end warms up and it'll fall off if you don't keep it cool. Then, after I've drilled it, I go through with my hammer drill, because this, this rad I'm going to be putting four inch screws in to hold it on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Plug in there. 14 screw, screw the bracket on, then the rad is just going to sit on. The rest of them do them the exact same as what I've just shown you there, and you can't go wrong. Then what you want to do is, you want to clean all the pencil marks off first, or you put the rad on. I make life hard, do you know what I mean? We know it's going to fit. Well, in theory, it's going to fit. These, you must be able to swing on them. If you can't swing on them, it is no good. Get that. Undo these slightly. Undo them slightly so we can uh, just get it in. Dread to think what Lee's doing out there. like a dream done it then spanner turn it up make sure that's tightened up yeah beautiful same again Don't tighten these up, over tight, otherwise you're going to split the rubber, I keep telling you. Beautiful. Now all we have to do is get the old level on it, treble. Because I can't do with stuff not being bang level. Bang level. Bang level. That's bang level. Just tighten that up. Tighten that up. That's got to be on new merchandise, hasn't it? Bang level. Bang level. Tighten that up, tighten that up. We'll put them cover caps over it. 
and there we go it's rad we've got some chrome caps to go over there which we'll, we'll do on the final touch and that's it beautiful fish bash boss don't forget to like and share you know what i forgot to mention remember to screw it up remember to screw it up put two little screws in there there two little screws in there and there so it can't pull off the wall i forgot to mention that now don't forget to like share and follow thank you for watching mjc kitchen and bathroom so another job finished you remember what it looked like at the beginning of the week The rainfall shower, which is electric. My units. Get straight in there. Well, we need to take that out. Let's take these screws out here. That will put off. And then we can take them doors out. And that will pull off. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then the, the draw system, what people were asking. How does the trap fit? Trap fits like that. Just make sure it's bone dry before we go. Because we don't want no leaky leaky. And then this is the rainfall electric Myra shower and I've got to confess it's quite good beautiful 